Welcome to Feature Doctor Neat Academy. Today I am going to solve problems in coordination commons. So very simple one, easy chapter also. Now see the first question. The coordination number and oxygen state of chromium in K3, Cr, C2O4 thrice are respectively. Okay, they are asking coordination number and oxidation state. Okay, so here you know that how uh, to find out. First I am going, you know, coordination number means you know, uh, C2O4, C2O4, uh, you know, it is a bidentic ligand, no. Bidentic ligand means what? C2, C2O4. No, this is called what? Bidentate ligands. Bidentate ligand. So, bidentate ligand means what? Each can make two coordinate bond. So, each can make two coordinate bond means we have, we have what? Three, three C2O4 minus no. So, so totally uh, six bond around the around chromium. So, what? So, coordination number is, you know, six. Understood? Because of bidentate ligand, each can make two coordinate bond. Then, oxygen state. Oxygen state how to find out means, you know, you first write the common K3. You know that Cr, C2O4, thrice. Okay. First, you split them. How to split, you know, K means what? K means K plus. How many K plus? 3K plus. Then Cr, C2O4, thrice. First, you split them. The splitting is very, very important. Okay. Then only you have to find out correctly. So, this will be 3 plus means this will be what? 3 minus. Okay. Then, our aim is to find out only the oxygen state. No, this is, you know, for chromium. X, C2O4, 2 minus. This R is what? 2 minus. So, 3 into 2 minus. So, minus 6, which is equal to what? Minus 3. X is equal to what? X is equal to what? Plus 3. Understood? Plus 3. Are you following? Okay, so 6 and plus 3, that's the answer. Understood? Okay, next one. Number of possible isomers for the following complex. You know, this complex they are asking to only for, you know, it's a geometric isomers. It has geometric isomers as well as, you know, optical isomers. You know, geometric isomers means, you know, it, a, it has what? Uh, cis isomer as well as trans isomer. So we have for, for geometric isomer, geometric isomer, it has what? In this complex we have cis, cis as well as what? Trans. Okay, then optical isomer, optical isomer here. You know, um, the trans will not be optical active. Trans will not be optical active. Okay, uh, due to symmetry. Due to symmetry, trans will not be optical active. So only cis isomer will be optical isomer. Understood? Only cis isomer will be optical isomer. Then only how many isomers are possible? So we have only three isomers are possible. So answer three. Understood? Right? Are you following? Okay. Next one. Crystal field stabilization energy for this complex. You know, eighteen thousand per centimeter is given. CFC for you know, this is called octahedral. This is called what? Tetrahedral. So what's the relation between the you know? Uh, CFC value means you know del T which is equal to 4 by 9 delta naught. Understood? Here this is a, just remember this is a formula. This is a relation between uh, CFC for tetrahedral complex and CFC for octahedral complex. So here the octahedral complex is given. So what? 18,000. No. It just substitute. So 4 by 9 into what? 18,000. Understood? Okay. Now you can cancel. Simple you know. One time here what? Two times. Just multiply. 4 into 2,000. Here we have what? 8,000. Understood? 8000 per centimeter. Understood? Understood. So, answer will be D is the answer. So, this is a formula. You just keep in mind. You can easily answer them. Next one. A magnetic moment at 1.73 Bohr magneton will be shown by one among the following. Okay. So, who is having one, one, 1.73 means what? It has one unpaired electrons. So, which one having one unpaired electrons? We have to find out. Okay. Suppose, for example, I, if you take um, the titanium tetrachloride, you know, titanium tetrachloride, you find out oxygen state for that X minus. 4 which is equal to what you know 0 x is equal to what you know plus 4 understood so titanium means you know so titanium you know atomic number scandium titanium uh, atomic number 22 okay so titanium means 3d 2 4s2 understood 3d 2 4s2 but titanium 4 plus means what titanium 4 plus means what no electrons in this orbital no 3d 0 4s0 correct or not okay no electrons no electron means you know 0 bohr electron I am doing this one. So, like I said, we have to find out. First, find out the unpaired atoms, then only you can be uh, able to find out the you know, magnetic moment. Understood? Now, you take this one, you take this complex, you know, Cu, NH3, okay, 4, 2 plus. Understood? Right. So, x plus 0, which is equal to what? Plus 2. Understood? Are you following? So, x is equal to what? Plus 2. Understood? x is equal to plus 2. Understood? So, you know, copper, copper usually, you know, 29. We can write what? 3D10, 4S1. Correct or not? 3D10, 4S1. But in Cu2 plus 2 electron will be last known. So 3D, 1 electron from here, 1 electron from here, 3D9, 4S, 0. Understood? The following. 3D9, outright, you know, all the four orbitals are, we have two, two pair electrons, one electrons, you know, one orbitals will be unpaired, no? So, no, you know, outright. This is all simple, you know that. Okay, so how to, how to fill up these nine electrons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So how many unpaired electrons? We have only one, un only one unpaired electrons. So only one unpaired electrons means. We are getting what? 1.73. Okay. So answer? This answer. 
Okay. So if we have two unparalleled turns, means 2.82. Three unparalleled means 3.86. Uh, we are getting. Okay. Like it's going on. Next one. You know, an excess A03 is added to 100 ml of 0 0.01 molarity solution of dichloro tetra aqua chlor chromium 3 chloride. The number of moles of HCl trisulfate would be, they are asking. Okay. But here, if you add A03 means, you know, chloride, no So only one chloride outside the bracket. So one mole, one mole will be precipitated. So here, number of, you know, uh, molarity is given. No? So, what is the formula of molarity? Molarity is equal to what? You know, number of moles by volume of the solution in liters. So, it just, you know, molarity is given. Now, simply you can substitute, you know, 0 0.01, which is equal to what? Number of moles in the last, you know, volume is given. Volume is what? 10. I said 100, 100, 100 by, you know, okay. So, it will be, if we multiply means what? This, is, this will be what? Cancel, you know, uh, what? 1 by 10. 1 by 10 means, you know, it will be uh, 0 0.1, which is equal to what? N. So, N will be what? You know, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, the answer will be this answer. Understood? She will see, see be the answer. Understood? Just molarity formula you can use because one chlorine is present outside. Then only just uh, substitute molarity formula. That's all. Next one. What is the correct electronic configuration of central atom in K4FEF6 based on CFT? So, based on CFT, you know, first find out the X value, X nothing but oxidation state. Understood? K4. Understood? K4FEF6. Understood? Okay. So, how to speed this one? 4k plus fe f6 f6 what 4 minus so x minus you know 6 is equal to minus 4 x is equal to what plus 2 understood okay you know that x is equal to plus 2 understood right x is equal to plus 2 okay you know that suppose here for you know ion atomic number is what 26 so it will be what 3d6 4 is 2 understood so electronic configuration out electronic configuration but fe2 plus is what uh, 3d6 2 electron will be lost no it will be lost so 4 is 0 are you following? Okay. Then, it, you know, it is a what kind of ligand? It is a weak ligand. Weak ligand means, you know, how to fill up gear, you know that. So, here, this is d orbital. Understood? The d is split into two sets of orbital. Soft at a complex, you know that. You know that. It is called what? T2G. Okay. Understood? T2G, EG. Understood? Now, we have to fill up the electrons. Because, it is a what? It is a weak ligand. Isn't it? Weak ligand. So, we can fill up the six electrons only, you know. So, weak ligand means you can fill up all this. So, how to fill up here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Understood? Okay. This is the way to fill up. So, T2G having how many electron? 4 electron. Understood? EG having how many electron? 2 electron. Understood? So, T2G 4, EG 2. So, what? Okay. Understood? Suppose if it is a strong ligand means this will be the answer. Okay. Understood? Right. Simple. Next one. Crystal field stabilization energy for I spin D4 octahedral complex. Okay. So, I spin. You know, CFC means, you know, we have one formula for that. What's the formula for that? CFC, C, crystal field, stabilization energy, which is equal to what? Minus of 0 0.4 into number of electrons in T2G plus 0 0.6 into number of electrons in EG. Cut or not? Okay. Right. So, formula. Okay. So, it's a, you know, I spin, no, I spin, no, I spin means, you know, weak, ligands are weak. Okay. Weak ligands. Okay. So, I, I spin, mean, you know, they how to fill up this one, you know. Suppose, you know, it's a d orbital. Okay. So, d orbital is split into two sets of orbital, you know. Understood. Okay. You're following? You know, it's a, you know, I spin complex means, you know, weak ligands. Weak ligands means, you know, splitting will be very, very less. So, we can, we can fill up d4, no, how to fill up here? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, again, you know, this is called what? T2G is called what? EG. Understood. So, T2G having what? How many electrons? 3 electrons. No. Can we substitute? You know, T2G having, you know, 3 electrons. So, it will be what? Minus 0 0.4 into, you know, 3. Cut or not? plus 0 0.6 into what? Number of electrons in, you know, EG. EG having only one electron. Understood? So, one. So, we get what? Minus 1.2. Cut or not? Plus 0 0.6. Okay. So, it will be what? So minus 0 0.6 delta naught. Understood? Cut or not? So, answer will be what? This answer. Are you following? Simple. So, just memorize the formula. This formula is very important. Then only you can able to answer them. Okay. Simple. Okay. So, these are the seven sums. Okay. I hope you understood everything. Thank you, students.